So how healthy is Chipotle? So you're given your four options. You have the burrito where they basically put all the toppings, wrap it up in a tortilla. Then you have the bowl where all the toppings are actually in like, um, kind of like a paper like bowl. And you can actually get a tortilla on the side. That's a side tip. Um, and then you can have the, op the tacos options where they give you around three tacos, put the fillings inside there, as well as the salads, which is more of your vegetable option. Yes, that is a lot of calories. So you got to keep that in mind. The more that you add to your bowl, the more calories it's got to entail. So make sure you keep that in mind. So white or brown rice, that is the question. So a lot of people might go ahead and be like, well, brown rice is typically healthier. But you also got to remember this is Chipotle. So actually to give you a few a few facts, both the brown rice, and, brown rice and the white rice have 210 calories. Now the difference that separates them is the sodium content. Um, the white rice has around 350 milligrams of sodium and then the brown rice has around 160 grams. But from a carbohydrate standpoint, the brown rice only has one gram extra of fiber, which is not, I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not really that big and significant. Um, but a lot of fat does come from that brown rice. So you're actually getting more fat from that brown rice than you are forgetting from the white rice. So my recommendation, just go ahead and get the brown, you know, even though it has a little bit more fat, I'd rather have a tad bit more fat than all that sodium. Just get black beans. That is all. Alright guys, so the meats. We're given six meat. We're given chicken, we're getting steak, we're getting um, the carnitas, we're getting the chorizos, we're getting the barbacoa, and we're getting the sofritas. And you might ask, now I know typically usually people stick between the chicken and steak, which actually is a good idea, and I'm gonna explain to you why. So what has the most calories is actually the chorizo, which has around 300 calories. That's the top. And then the next one would be 210 calories, and I believe that's the barbacoa. Um, but re really sets everything apart is the amount of sodium in food. So Chipotle, um, I think, for your fast food options, you definitely look at the, the ingredients, you're like, okay, it seems pretty healthy. But the thing about Chipotle is there's so much sodium in all of their food. Now, on average, an American takes in about 3,400 milligrams of sodium. That's way too, way too excessive. The upper limit should be around 2,300, but the recommended value is actually 1,500 milligrams of sodium a day. So if you think about it, the chorizo has 810 milligrams of sodium. That is, that's crazy. You're basically getting more than half of your sodium with one, one thing of meat with about four ounces. That's way too much. So what I say, stick, stick to the chicken and the steak where you have around 150 calories around there and then 300 grams of sodium. So if you stick with the chicken, you stick with the steak, you'll be okay. Alright, so let me, go, let me go ahead and explain. So, for the salsa, I usually go with the tomatoes, and I actually, after doing um, research, it's the two best options are the green chili as well as the red tomatoes. The red chili salsa, you know, that really hot one, has 500 milligrams of sodium. Again, like I said, Chipotle's not bad till the sodium, man. Come on, like, what's with the sodium? 
It's so much. So just stick with the regular tomatoes, um, the regular like red mild tomatoes or the green chili, you will be okay. And you will also get vitamin C within those as well. And then when you go to the lettuce, I mean it's lettuce, you get your vitamin A, your vitamin A and your vitamin C. You can't go wrong with getting lettuce. Just get lettuce, you get your greens in, get your greens in. And then for the corn, that's an optional thing. You don't have to get that. Um, it is around 80 calories, but it has 330 milligrams of sodium. So it is a good source of carbs and vitamin C, but you have to be aware of the fact that it's a lot of sodium. Stay hydrated, my friends. I'm not a fan of the sour cream and guac, but it just to give you the nutritional facts about it, sour cream is around 110 calories with 9 grams of fat. Keep that in mind. Now, the guac is around 230 calories with 190 of those calories coming from fat. Now, the good thing about it is that there is only 3.5 grams of saturated fats. Those are the bad fats. Whenever you look on the back of the nutritional label, look for unsaturated fats. That's the healthy fats. So, it's not terrible, but again, the sodium, it's around 320, guys. Just be aware of it, okay? So, what is the final verdict on Chipotle? Is it really healthy? So, I want to first by first start off by saying that it's good. I mean, it's Chipotle. It tastes amazing. It tastes great. It's one of my main go-to lunches. But after doing a little bit of research, I do want to say that there are three things that you should keep in mind. One is the sodium content. It is recommended that we stay be between 1,500 to 1,700 milligrams of sodium. So keep that in mind. You can basically blow those numbers out the water with just one burrito, you know, with half of the ingredients, really. Um, and then two, got to make sure you think about the amount of calories that you are eating. The more that you add, the you know, if you add double chicken, then you add the sour cream, then you add the lettuce, then you add the cheese, they start to add up, you know, and then your calorie number gets really, really high as well as your sodium. And then three, what I advise you to do is actually go to Chipotle's nutrition calculator. Um, go to this website right here. It's also going to be linked in the description. Um, this was very helpful actually in my research. You can actually see what you want and get want to get in your burrito, your taco, whatever you want to get, you could see add the different toppings and see what the calories are, what the sodium contents like, minerals, vitamins, carbs, proteins, fats, everything. So, I mean, it it you can basically make it as healthy as you want to. It wouldn't be my first go-to for something healthy, but um, we're gonna see with these different food places that you go to lunch. We'll see which one's the most healthiest. So I will see you guys later. Embrace the hype.